Hey ladies and gents, this is, is the Wiz coming to you with a review of the Mythic Legion's Gwendolyn Heavens brand. So, let's take a look at the bio for this figure. Gwendolyn Heavens brand. Her brother Gideon may be the face of the Order of Ethiron, but Commander Gwendolyn Heavens brand is its fist. This skilled warrior and strategist remains a step ahead of her enemies at all times as she commands her troops from the front lines. Her hardened outlook is often at odds with her brother's idealistic leadership, but her grit is essential to the Order's survival. So, Gwendolyn, Heaven's Brand is a badass. And although she's not the face of the Order, she's its fist. Although she has a very, very beautiful face. <clears throat> so um, maybe Gideon should consider stepping down. <laughs> she just passed out. <clears throat> Oh, God. Anyway, um, Gwendolyn, I uh, didn't mean to scare you like that. I'm just kidding about your brother. I, I'm, I'm on kind of a, sh a shaky table, folks. So um, sometimes when I put my elbows down hard, I, I, I shake the table hard enough to knock the figures over. But anyway, Gwendolyn... <clears throat> Let's get back to the review. Um, first of all, look at the colors. Purple and that sort of burnished gold. Um, great contrast. And then silver uh, in there as well. She's obviously a heroic character. Um... She's obviously good. Now, one of the other, I mean, one, one of the folks asked me to put up a picture of the elf builder holding some of the elf weapons, pack weapons. And I think that's uh, a good idea because it just shows the different colors of gold that they have. So um, here is the elf builder with a deep rich gold it's almost coppery it's almost a bit coppery and then you have like the polished gold and then you have the gold on Gwendolyn which is unless my eyes eyes deceive me or it, it, it it's not quite as uh, coppery or dark as the gold on the elf builder so Three shades of gold there, all nice looking. Um, you know, I don't know how, how, how compatible the bright shiny gold is with this kind of gold. Um, because, you know, if you want to have the colors match exactly, then it's probably a good idea to get weapons that match and like the hilt on the sword and you know you want the shield to match the armor because she's nothing if not natalie attired and fashionable and color coordinated um, and it's one of the things that really adds to her appeal um, again the same Awesome sculpt that we have with all the other female knights. But a unique color scheme that really makes it special. And then look at the look at the um, awesome, you know, feathers coming out of the back of her helmet. That is really really nice i like how they swoop down there it's very graceful and elegant beautiful and awe-inspiring so um 
I think she's definitely the coolest um, female knight. And the other thing that makes her really super cool is, bam, the visor. The visor goes down over the helmet, covers her beautiful face, which is a shame. But then again, she, you know, you, ha you can have her in different modes. Um, so there she's completely no nonsense ready for battle. I like the sword that she comes with. I don't know what this thing is on the, it's like a second hilt, sort of, that pops out from the um, side of the blade, but it definitely looks wicked and it definitely looks cool and it adds a little extra um, pizzazz to the weapon because it's a rather large and a rather long sword. So, um, you know, if you're going to be leading your troops into battle, you want something that inspires confidence. And this looks like it could definitely get the job done. Um, so, like, uh, the, the nice thing about the visor is it just it's really flips up and down easily. So you could see her face. But one of the other cool things about this figure is that she has an unhelmeted head. So let me pop her head off and show you what that looks like. And this head Let's see here. Not sure I got it all the way down there on the ball because it didn't pop, but it's kind of cold. So I think if I had the hair dryer, it would heat it up and it would pop in there really easily. I told you guys about my uh, rotator cuff or shoulder issues before, and that's why I don't want to crank down on that too hard. Um, but this head, which is resting up a little bit higher on the ball joint than it, than I would normally have it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hit that with the hairdryer and I'll be right. All right, guys, this is hilarious. Um, I thought that I was having problems getting the head on there because it was a little tight. And, and I was going to go hit it with the hair dryer. But then I looked inside the head and I discovered this tiny little ball of painted styrofoam inside the head. <laughs> so that was the issue. So that's why I was having such a problem getting it to rest on there. But now that I've removed the styrofoam... Mm, there she is. And she looks beautiful. And one of the reasons that she looks so beautiful is because she shares a head sculpt with Delphina. Um, there is... You'll note the same hairstyle. So maybe this is the, prefer the preferred hairstyle of the Order of Etheron. Um, but of course, yeah, it's an identical head sculpt, but it looks very, very different because she's got brown hair. Um, she's got a different skin tone. She's got different colored eyes. So it's like a whole nother character there. And it, it's not something you could stand them right next to each other. And they just look like two beautiful women who went to the same hairstylist instead of like twins or whatever because the four horsemen are so good with the whole you know making something look like something wholly other just by changing the colors of it so i you know this is beautiful a beautiful beautiful head sculpt as i, I raved about it when it was uh, delphina and of course you know it's nothing's changed now as far as how much i like it Okay, so she comes with that sword that I've already shown you. She comes with this short sword. She comes with the 
ubiquitous weapons belt, the rubbery weapons belt to hold the sword. And she comes with the adapters, which is the weapons holder, the wings for um, Mythic Legions 1.0 wings, and then an adapter so that you can put on her back so she can wear her pauldrons and wear wings if you want to turn her into an angel, which she does look very, very angelic, actually. And I could see people wanting to put wings on her. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, Gwendolyn's Heaven's Brand. I think she is definitely a must-get, especially if you have Gideon and you love the Order of Etheron. Um, they're, I think, probably the... Uh, you know, the main heroic order. Uh, so um, I'm definitely going to want to pick them up. And I love their shield and I love their emblem. And then plus I have Etheron as well. So um, yeah, Gwendolyn, definitely a must get. All right, is the Wiz signing out.